Well, hello, hello. You've probably seen it all on my channel now. Once I show you this, show you this video, my um, morning walk this morning, I pick up a few cicadas and I bring them home and show my children. And I put them in the bug catcher here. And about an hour later, look what's happening here. Let's take a closer look at this. Well, this might get incredibly noisy. As I know, they started making a lot of noise and I went to investigate what was going on. And this is what I found. And I'm going to try and have a bit of a closer look if I can get the bug catcher open. Sorry guys for interrupting here, but we want to have a bit of a closer look, don't we? Okay, that's the female there, and that's the male below. And I've never seen this before, I'm um, only just by chance that these two are in the bug catcher, and they started to get very friendly. So one has to wonder what colour will the offspring be? They probably didn't like me interrupting them, and I tell you what, there was a lot of noise, and that's the only reason why I went back to the bug catcher to see what they were up to. And here's the back end shot, that's where it's all happening. I'm not sure how long this goes on for, but if you want a bit of an insight into a cicada's life cycle, there's this amazing documentary called Return of the Cicadas. And a video producer sent me a link to this video, it's on Vimo. Um, I'll put a link in this video. And it's a must watch video if you want to have a bit of an insight into these insects and particularly the cicada called the periodical cicada um, that's a cicada which has a very long um, what would you call it life underground and then it comes up and only lives for a few weeks and it's one of the true um, remarkable things in nature you know where i live it's summertime and we've had just this massive cicada season this year i'm not sure whether that's across the whole of australia <laughs> The boy's making some noise there. But um, it's funny, it's been about seven years since I've seen the numbers that I'm seeing this year. Seven years ago when I saw a lot. And it seems like it's all history repeating itself. And because we've had such a massive cicada season, and in fact the Christmas beetles have been on big numbers as well, all the birds in the backyard are really plump. There's been plenty of food for them to eat. So all of them are showing signs of overeating. Oh, I'm not sure how long this goes on for. I suppose it's been about half an hour now. Maybe some cicada expert can tell me. Well, what I should do is put these guys back out of nature where they belong. I'm just worried about the birds. The birds around here will see these and um, take them out real fast. I've had troubles with that here already. Um, I'll just find a nice secluded spot. The problem I've got here is the boy keeps making a noise. And that's going to bring the birds... Well, I'll put them on the tree here and I'll protect them for a while. I'll keep the birds away. There we go, that's better. So, there they are in their favourite tree. What a lovely couple. And I know this is a favourite tree because when I look on the ground here, I can see cicada holes. There's one there, there's one over there, and there's one, one just right there. And if I take a look up this tree, the more evidence of a lot of cicada action. One, two three cicada shells well i'll just sit here and watch these two mating and if someone asks me hey leo what did you do today well i can tell them you won't believe this i'll watch two cicadas mate well it's some four hours later and it's raining and guess what the ritual is over let's take a look at them how you feeling huh that's the male noisy male let's take a look at the girl Oh boy, oh boy, it's freezing cold too. So these guys, I don't think they much like the cold. There's a girl and she... Oh! No, 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 you can't. There's a girl. Yeah, you wouldn't even know anything's happened, would you? I better put it back on the tree. Wow. That was a long time, I'll tell you. I'll put that boy right there. There's the noisy boy. So I dare say her next job is to, well, let the eggs grow a bit and she'll go up into the tree and lay them into the tree somewhere. And as for him, I don't know what he's going to do next. I suppose his job is done. Just thinking, considering their life is so short when they're in adult form, She'd have to be pretty quick at getting her eggs into the tree. Up she goes to find a spot in the tree. 
to lay her eggs. And there goes Boy Wonder. Well, here watch the cicadas, but there are two birds fighting. I know they're just playing. What is going on? That's this year's magpies. Well, there she goes. She's climbing the tree. My daughter watched all this as well. She's quite fascinated by it. Where do you think she's going? I think she's trying to find a branch to lay her eggs. I think you're exactly right. You know. Well, where's the male? Well, the male's on the other side. Oh. They've now separated. <laughs> it's a big tree to climb, but she's getting there slowly and surely. Well, there's the boy in the lower part of the screen and the girl, she's climbing and climbing and climbing. There's the boy there. And that girl is on a mission. She's got one last thing to do before her life is up. Hey, Dad, there she is. I think she found another branch to lay her eggs. Wow, Dad, the girl's gone up very high. That was so fascinating. But have you realised the boy has gone in a different direction? Well, that's boys for you, dear. They come and say hello, then they run away. And the girl's going to lay her eggs on a branch, then they'll hatch and dig underground for another seven years. It's amazing, isn't it? Yes, it is. Maybe we'll see her children when you're a little bit older. True. We will. I wouldn't lie to you, dear.